Finance Administration Committee meeting to order. Uh, roll call, please. Alderman Ames. Here. Alderman Catalano. Alderman Curielli. Here. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Messina. Here. Alderman Sorrentino. Here. Alderman Sosmarski. Here. Alderman Woods. Here. Quorum, uh, make the approval of minutes for September 9th, 2021 for the Finance and Administration Committee. That's my motion. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Report and recommendation. Refuse and recycling and disposal services contract. Uh, okay, Ms. Buggy, you're gonna handle this? Yes, thank Perfect. you. Um, so <clears throat> as this committee knows, we entered into a refuse collection contract in 2017 with Blood Brothers. That contract after a five year term is up in April of 2022. Um, at our previous meeting, the committee decided it would like to hear the renewal proposal from Flood Brothers before it decided whether to go out to bid or go out for RFP. Um, so before you in your packets is the proposal from Flood Brothers. This evening we are joined by our liaison, Michael Flood, as well as Bob, Bill, and Kevin Flood. Um, so I know they are happy to answer any questions, if there are any, as am I. Okay, do we have any questions? Names. Thank you. Have we had um, any like significant complaints of service over the years, or how how has that been from the residents' perspective? Go ahead. Yes. Um, so we have been tracking complaints since late 2017. Uh, over the past five years, there have been a, approximately 100 complaints. The vast majority of those have been either the garbage lids being left open on rainy days or um, a, a, like a missed collection. Um, however, we've been able to resolve most of those very quickly and efficiently. Sometimes the resident just misses pickup. Sometimes there is an accident, um, but we call Flood Brothers and they are able to come out and pick it up for us. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Alderman Woods. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the extension when you come back for five years. Second. Okay, with that being said, take a, oh, Questions. Alderman Messina, questions? Yeah, I, I know I had asked this a while back, never did get an answer. Um, the special events committee, we had a commitment from them to actually deliver some, some cans like they used to, and with COVID, uh, those are supposed to be reallocated for other events, and I, did they fulfill that commitment? Mr. Wilson? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I was actually just uh, finalizing some of the details with uh, Mr. Flood before the meeting. Uh, what we did was we sent them, reached out to them, um, and they did uh, concur that those monies could be reallocated to the other events. We're just waiting until after trunk or treat to get all of the invoices, and then just send them one reimbursement, request for reimbursement, instead of doing them piecemeal throughout the year. Um, but yeah, they, they had no issue with that and that will be uh, forthcoming. Like I said, after Trunk or Treat, we'll get that invoice and then we'll uh, get that sent over to them. Thank you. Okay, uh, Alderman Sosmarski. Yeah, what, uh, I know we talked about this in the initial contract, whatever happened to the RFID chips that were supposed to be placed in the cans for tracking purposes? Mrs. Buggy? Uh, I spoke about this with Michael. I believe they are in the cans. They are actually used to track the movement of the trucks. So there's some sort of GPS tracking so that Flood Brothers can tell whether they've missed a street or they've dropped off their load or whatever. Um, so my understanding is that's how they work. I think there might be a misunderstanding and that there is a thought process that they do something else. Anything else, Alder Mrs. Smarsky? Alderman Ames? Um, so I'm seeing in the proposal that there's some new added services um, that if we were to renew that would be put into this contract that we did not previously have. Can you just review that for everybody? Go ahead. Yes, um, so there are four new added value services. Um, the first one is an annual shred and electronics event, which Flood Brothers is happy to provide for. I would note that at our last green fair, 
it did cost the city four thousand dollars and it cost wind trust an additional one thousand dollars so that is money saved by the city um, they are also offering an annual pumpkin smash which we do not currently do um, so that would be of added benefit to the residents and then they are offering tw a maximum of 20 roll-off dumpsters per year for free um, in typical years we use about 16 roll-off dumpsters for public works and that has cost us eight the most recent number is eight thousand um, dollars and then the fourth one that they are offering is street sweeping for the post memorial day parade and one sweep per year of the metro lot all their names just a follow -up. so for the additional street sweeping is there like what type of value is that because it looks like so far that's adding an extra about twelve thousand dollars of services on that we would not be paying for correct go ahead yes that's correct and currently they don't perform street sweepings um, the city does them occasionally um, so this would be an added benefit okay thank you okay. alderman messina yeah, it seems pretty quiet up here, so maybe because we jumped right in. But uh, and it's, my, it's my initial thoughts, right? You guys have done a great job, great showing. Thank you for being here. That says a lot. Um, a little disappointed, right, in the RFP. Um, not even RFP, excuse me, in your initial response. I, I expected a little more, right? Um, I understand that this gives a baseline now for, for everybody else. So I, I was hoping for more because at the end of the day, these are great services you're offering us, the city, those value add. At the same time, I'm going to speak for myself, and I think I'll speak for my counterpart. For me, it's all about my residents, right? So I have to go out and explain and justify the, the variable, right? That cost year over year. So I just, it would have been nice to see that structured differently. Again, speaking for myself, I, it would have been nice to see some of those services. We pay for them now. I would, would have rather seen the rates lower so that we could have pushed those on to the residents because essentially it push, puts me back in a position that I have to go back and at least propose it. I can't speak for everybody up here to say, well, how do we off, uh, offset some of those cost increases? Because that's, that's what I'm going to hear. Those are the calls I'm going to get. Not the, oh, thank you for the extra shredding. Thank you for the pumpkin expansion, which are all great value adds for the city as a whole. Um, it just makes my job harder. So it's just a little disappointed how it's structured. You guys have been phenomenal. You guys have resolved the issues, the few issues I brought. I just, I was hoping to make it, I was hoping it was gonna be a very simple, easy way to look at it and say, Don, I don't even wanna take it out to RFI. Uh, this puts me in a situation where I gotta explain myself. So that, that's really it. Thank you guys, you have done great. Mayor. I'm a little confused to that statement. Thank you. So are you saying we have to raise the rates because we don't have to raise the rates with this contract. No, you do in year three. No, we do up. not. Okay, that's that's how I read it. So what, no, 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 we get an increase. The residents will not. Okay. That's, there's a difference. Okay, that's we, not how we, I interpreted it. Where, okay. If you look and look and see what we pay, we can hold the line, and no worries. That's that's the key right there. I, I clearly I didn't see that yeah, or read that, that in there. So no, well, know. it's not in there. It's you know, <laughs> I you know I did a little research and asked Mr. Oh. Wilson exactly to make sure I'm right. Yep. And we will not have to raise. Okay. I, I guess I just have a comment to that. I mean, I and uh, I mean we may not have to raise it to the residents, but that twelve thousand dollars, my guess would be wiped out. I mean that twelve thousand dollar value add. If our rates are going to go up and where the city's going to absorb it. I mean, that $12,000, I mean, that's basically, there is no value add. Well, so again, for the residents, I mean, I would have, you know, I was hoping that it came in a little bit lower than it was just to be able to tell our residents, hey, you know, we saved you some money. They came in, you know, really strong with a good fee and, you know, we're keeping the same company and, you know, but uh, again, when we get the phone calls, um, you know, they're going to ask, you know, why did we not go out to RFP? Why did you just renew the contract automatically? Um, Mrs. Buggy? Thank you. Um, I was asked by a member to look into the rates that were provided from some of the other communities um, on the last page. I was able to track down about eight of those agreements. Um, and they, they have varying start years. So some start in 2017, some 18, some 2020. 
I will say our, our, the rates proposed by Flood, Flood Brothers alternate by an increase of two and a half and two and a quarter percent. Um, and most of the other communities have an increase of 3% or 2.6 to 2.9%. One other question, when you did that homework, did you also find any towns that recently had gone out to RFP and what kind of bids they got? There was a, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. There was a couple recent ones from 2020. Um, they didn't really line up with us though in terms of like similarities. So Elmhurst uh, had some changes, but they're based on the size of your tote. Um, and then there was, let's see, a Bloomingdale. Um, and they are showing an increase of, let's see, yeah, about 3%. But I'm, I'm saying, like, compared to the, our, the rate we're getting, what were the rates oh, that they, I'm the, sorry. like, the bids that came in, were they lower or higher than the rates that they, they're giving us right ah, now? Yes, I apologize. Yes, they start at 1809 for a non senior single family home. Um, and over the five years, they increased to $20.33. Okay. Uh, Alderman Woods? I only researched five, but I have a full-time job be tied besides that. So thank you for looking into those. And I think to add some clarity to this, it's hard to compare community to community. So you have to really add up the totality of all the services that you're getting. Uh, so that's one thing. Then you have to look at what the yearly increases are. And that's what I did. So to answer that question, what if we went out to bid? Would I find myself better? So on average, the raises I came up with the same number that Kate came up with are consistently 3%, lowest being 2.7. And that was a, a contract of this year, actually the end of last year. It was so, uh, and up to 3.75%. The average again being somewhere around 3%. And those rates that they show, the majority of the communities don't have the landscape waste. So when you factor in the landscape waste on some of those, I took a couple of the contracts, and that adds anywhere from to their 18 or $19, adds 12 to $16 for that. And that's for the minimal yard waste, only picking up a 35 gallon container. We have unlimited. And our contract, when you read through the contracts, I, I want the, probably the largest notable thing is that uh, in our community, we, they pick up anything. There's no limit or exclusion, really, unless you tore down your house and put it at the curb. They're not going to pick it up, a big construction type thing. But any household garbage, and I've tested that along with my neighbors many times. The grass, I have a 100-foot lot, and the grass goes all across the bags, and, and they come and pick them up. Uh, so, so uh, that's, that's another thing. And then when you, the brush pickup, none of the contracts have brush pickup that I read. Again, I didn't read all. I think there's 18 in there. I didn't read 18. You read eight, I read five. Some would probably overlap, but collectively we probably did 10. And there isn't one of them that offers that service. So if you start to do the math uh, and take out that number from that, you would drive our costs down way below anywhere anybody could be competitive. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a stretch to say that this is probably the the best number that we're going to get. And if we did go out in the competitive market, we would find that we're at three percent. And all the other companies, the big guys, are not going to want to meet all the little things that we have. Uh, the last thing, the twelve thousand dollar number, uh, really is a larger number than twelve thousand because we didn't add any value to a couple of the other things. And, and Mike Alderman Curiali ran the math and said at the 2.5%, I think that was a $20,000 increase, right? And if you factor in all those things, I think that 12,000 is probably closer to 16 or 17,000. The increase is so minimal. That teamed up with the fact that we know nothing's going down. Gas has gone up, dump fees have gone up, tires go up. Repairs on trucks go up. Everything is going taxes, license plates, insurance. Uh, the, the fact that we we have a no gain the first year and a minimum <coughs> two and a half percent 
I think think is a reduction in price when you factor everything. Thank you. Uh, real quick, Mr. Wilson, I think I cut you off before you wanted to say something. Before. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, actually, Alderman Woods covered it with the uh, stickerization of the yard waste. That's just what I was going to comment on. So he covered it uh, very well. Okay, so perfect. Uh, Mayor? Yeah. Honestly, they've done a good job. So 100 complaints in five years and garbage cans open when it's raining. I mean, that's 20 per year. I understand people don't want any water in their containers, but if that's the worst we're going to hear, I think we're good. Um, the landscaping stuff we chose many years ago to include in our bill. So, and let's face it, I could tell you, I have a landscaper, so it's, it's service is of no use to me unless I'm pulling a few leaves at the end after my landscaper is done. But I think this is more than fair and we should extend. Alderman Messina. Um, I'll play devil's advocate. Exactly, I guess, because I've had this done to me in the corporate world. Exactly what do we lose by not going out to RFP? So they've set a baseline. One could argue they've done well. What do you, each of us, have to say? What justifies us giving them a free pass versus going off RFP? I would imagine they're going to respond, right? So if they're as great as they are, nothing changes. They're going to respond. But why wouldn't we open it up? And again, huge fans of them. I'm going to play devil's advocate here and say, why, why wouldn't we open it up? I mean, we're spending all this effort talking about why we're not opening up. Nothing changes the fact that they are phenomenal. I get that. But people tell me all the time, you guys are phenomenal. Software is great. But I have to open it up for RFP. And if you're as good as you are, you're going to win the RFP because you're going to respond. And I say, <laughs> You got a very good point. We're, we're going to respond because we want to continue your business. I'm just, I guess I'm a little confused at why we're, to me, it was the magic number, which I know there were conversations of, can you make it lucrative enough for us not to go out to RFP? And that's the question, I guess, up here. That nothing, I don't think anybody's debating they've done a bad job and, and that they've done refuse. You're repeating things that are all, have always been table stakes. I, I guess that, that's the part I, I was hoping for something lucrative enough to make it a slam dunk like this is why we didn't go out to RFP and I, I just didn't see it. But great, they're phenomenal, nothing changes. I just don't know why we're not bringing others to the table to, to <clears throat> see if that is, if anything has changed. For whatever it's worth, anyways. Okay. Alderman Sinsmarski. What are you worried about, Mayor? I go, five years ago I asked the question to your son and the city manager why are we going out to RFP? I was told this is a city service. We don't have to go out to RFP, but we did. You said we always go out to RFP. We're going to out to RFP. Now, now you want to change the way we do things in City Hall. No. Alderman Woods, you're next. Again, to see the better deal, I'm, I'm not sure what what we'd be looking for when our research shows that nobody's going to off nobody offers the same service to any other community that we get every other offer is higher that's documented and and so if if the idea is to drive the price down i'm i'm certain we could take a bunch of these stuff out that nobody else offers and we would drive that initial price down, if, if that's our goal. It, and, it, and it's kind of a question to Alderman Messina, so maybe if you can so. let him respond, just so we can get clarity. Okay, Mayor, I, I know you had your hand up, but let me let Alderman yeah, Messina I, 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 respond. I, I, again, it's, uh, I have to ask myself, right? I'm a relationship trust guy, right? That's what I am, and I'm a, help me understand why I'm not gonna go out to RFP. How do I justify to my residents that you get a free pass? Here you go. This is, and to me, again, I was, I was a little disappointed. I, I, don't, I don't see the math that says that. And if, and if they're going to do all this, right, like you just said, if they're going to do it, I, I hope to God they respond and they deliver at least that. I mean, to me, I, like I said, to, I was looking for a compelling reason to act, as I'm told, and I teach my people. I don't, I don't have a compelling reason to act that I'm just going to give a pass. That's just me. But. Okay. Mayor? So we went out to RFP five years ago. 
And the reason we went out five years ago is because that contract that we received was garbage. No pun intended. It was overpriced. And as you can see, that contract that we received saved the city, I believe, quarter million dollars, right? And things go up. Now, moving forward, with this contract, at the end of this contract, you're still lower than that contract that they passed would be 10 years later. And let's face it, you're looking at numbers that other communities are paying. Five. And you guys are the first ones to say that they're different towns. Different towns have different Right. And again, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just trying to have right. everybody okay. out there. I'm a huge fan. I'm not saying that. I just, right. I'm, sorry. Yeah, I'm not good. That term. Go ahead. I just, to me, I don't, I mean, everything you're saying is you're absolutely right. We did save that. We did save that five years. We did. All that's true, but none of that changes if we go off RFP. If they're going to respond, they're going to respond. I would hope they're going to respond. Right. So the worst case scenario is I tell residents, you know what? We did go off to RFP and they proved it. They proved it. They came back even stronger, or they came back with what they had and what they proposed initially, and they killed every, they crushed everybody. But at least I can say there was fair, equitable opportunity to do that. And again, I needed a compelling reason to say there is no reason why, resident, because look at all this extra stuff. And I, I just, again, I, I, don't, I don't see it here. Every, it doesn't negate any of the awesome stuff they brought to us five years ago, because that was a crappy contract that happened before me so i can't speak to that i didn't oh. approve that contract it was a crappy contract and, and and i get it so somebody can look at us five years from now and say oh my god what was that council thinking who knows we don't know what's out there it's also five years and it's just out of covid so we don't we don't know what's out there to, to me i like i said all, none of that changes it does not negate all the good that they've brought from that past contract i just like i I just, uh, yeah, leave it at that. Cool. Okay, any other questions? Uh, Alderman Woods. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm still at a loss of, of why we don't, why, why we're not seeing the, the value. I'm having a hard time understanding. That. I'm not picking, yeah, I'm asking no, no, no. a question. I, I want you, so rather than saying it, I, it, give well, us the compelling, give me the, sell me the, here, you can be the salesman. Tell me the compelling reason why we should not owe our residents a, a, a bit, why we should not go out to RFP. We have some time. Sell me on why I should, <laughs> we shouldn't go out to RFP. We'll do a role play. Okay. okay. So tell me why we should not, why should we not go out to RFP and give them a pass based on what they're proposing? No. So continue. I'll, I'll have to ask first then <laughs> the live debate. No, 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 I'm just kidding. But go ahead. No. <laughs> what is it that you're looking for? Are you looking for service or are you looking to drive the price down? Right? Because I'm gonna be the guy that you're talking to. So you want me to drive the price down? I think to make it the cheapest price possible, or do you want the best service possible? Or do you want a combination of both? So I would imagine that in the contract there is a baseline of service that they have to adhere to. Anybody that wins this contract. Mr. Wilson, is that, or Director Wilson, is that correct? Is there a baseline service level that Mr. we Wilson. like? If there, if someone comes in lower than them, or or two people come in lower than them. Okay, what hold is, on here, Mr. Wilson. Do you want to answer that? Sure. I mean, it, we're getting a little esoteric here, but I mean, at the end of the day, um, people put cash at the curb once a week. It goes bye bye. That's, that's the baseline service that we're trying to accomplish. Right. And in a clean, efficient, and as least disruptive manner as possible. So like, you know, you don't have loud trucks, you're not polluting the air, things of that nature. I mean, that's the, the super basic baseline end of the day argument. Is you put your trash at the curb, and they come and they pick it up. Um, so you know, what happens it, 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 in the our, in the responses when the bids come in and they're open? What what happened? What is the what's the action from what happens if others are lower? Are you how do you test what that very simple process is? How do you say that another vendor can't do that? That's help me understand, that. Mr. Wilson. Sure. So when we did the last contract and the mayor underplayed it a little bit, um, based upon the rates that we were getting charged from Republic to the rates that Flood Brothers provided with the value-added services of the brush collection, 
and some of the other items. It saved the community over $2 million. Back then? Five years ago, correct. Right. Do you we're have RFPs still, in your hand that show you what they can save today? Well, considering we're still $8 underneath, I would say just based on rates alone, this contract would still save over a million dollars from that contract from five years ago. That's without even getting anything out. So your base, everybody's, some of the, not everybody, some of the basis here is essentially based on a crappy ass contract that the prior council approved. That's the baseline for all of this. Is that what I'm, I'm just trying to understand all this. Cause now, now it went from like, I'm kind of neutral to like, holy crap, wh why are we basing decisions based on a very horrible contract that people approved five years ago? So I don't, I, I don't, again, you're actually turning me the other way now. Cause now I, I truly am a fan. I just, now I'm, now I'm really, everything is, take that off the table. I don't care about five years ago. Cause none of us, well, many of us didn't vote for that crappy contract. So what today, what today are you basing this decision on, or, or, or whoever is trying to sell us on the idea of not going off to for RFP? You're, oh, sure. you're giving these great examples of five years ago. Mm -hmm. What is based on today's decision to not go out to RFP, based on today's guidelines and based on the vendors that are out there today? Oh, sure. Okay, go ahead, Brad. Oh, sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yeah, so one of the things, and Alderman Woods alluded to it, um, they were the only ones that responded with a brush collection reimbursement. Okay. Um, based upon some of the consolidation in the marketplace and whatnot, I, I'm not gonna say that nobody else would come back with that, but I would find it hard to believe that we would get, you know, anything better than what we have currently with, with that proposal. Um, also, um, you know, with where inflation is, where these other rates are, the other contracts, um, Ms. Buggy mentioned it, Mr. Woods uh, mentioned it, are about 3% annual increase. This one, if you account for the fact that they're holding the rate at zero for the first year, turns out to be less than 2% per year. All Median. the other renewals? Year over year. Right. Year over year, year correct. Okay. So um, again, all the other renewals that we've seen in the last couple of years have been eh, give or take three. So that's also um, something that goes into play. Uh, then, you know, the addition of the value add, um, we've been working with the uh, Clean Air Counts or the Wooddale for Greener tomorrow, looking to increase their budget the next couple of years, because um, the electronics have been exploding the collections. Um, those have been four to five thousand dollars the last couple of years. Let's say they're going to help take care of that. That means the Green Community Committee can do other things with their funds as opposed to spending their entire budget to recycle somebody's old TV. Um, you know the the pumpkin thing. I'm sure scarce on the earth flag. I'm sure they're going to love that. That would be great um, to, to tell those folks. Um, the roll-offs, yeah, that's the, a lot of the roll-offs come from the street sweeping waste, additional brush, one-off brush collections that the city does outside of the once a month, once every other month collection, and spoils from water main breaks. Mm -hmm. So that's about $8,000 that's going to go into there. So between the less than 2% annual increase when everybody else is getting about three. And the, if you add up the, uh, the green fair stuff, the uh, brush collection reimbursement, and the, the roll off stuff, you're looking, I don't know, and the extra two street sweepings, which I'd have to cost those out. You're looking at probably, I don't know, anywhere between 80 and $100,000 in additional benefits on top of the fact that they were the lowest bidder last time when we did the RFP. Which wasn't hard to do, but yes. Yeah. You're hired, thank you. That's so. what I'm looking for to justify in my brain when I get 20 calls of people. So thank you, that, okay. I'd hire you if you ever look. Okay. Thank right. you. You and Alderman Woods still in I role play here? Or? No, we're, 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 we're good. good. It's a love relationship. I'm confused to what you didn't no, say. I, no, to me, I just, I, again. Maybe I, it's because I read so many of these things, I feel like I belong to yeah, the company. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, uh, Alderman Sorrentino. And I do not want a gag order either. Uh, gentlemen, I'm going to speak for myself, and uh, our ward represents 25% of the city. Uh, if it's 10 cents or $10 million contract that we enter into with our vendors. Personally, I like the principles over the personalities. And uh, we have, I'll speak for all of us, uh, have enjoyed a respectable and a loyal relationship 
with all of our vendors. Uh, and I would say the only time I've had anything other than a respectful or a loyal relationship, uh, your company's name was brought up. That I don't appreciate because if we're going to be partners, we have to stick together through thick or thin and not jump ship based on whatever bug is biting at your butt. So if we're going to be partners, let's be partners with this council and everybody on this council. This council runs for re-election. Remember who your partner is. Fair enough? Thank you. I think with that, uh, we should take a roll call. Alderman Ames. Are we deciding if you want to say? Well, remember, it's to approve. It's, it's, if you want it, yes. If you don't want it, no. Hey, no. Yes. Or, oh, sorry. This is, so we'll be able to do something next week. This is just committee. Correct. Yeah. Right. So this okay. is if we. You can always change your mind next week. Hopefully not, but yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure that yep. I'm yep. voting for what we're talking about. So Correct. To extend, yeah. Seven. This is if what you say yes, that they we're extending the contract. I do. Yeah. I, I, I get. I. Yeah. Okay. Alderman Carrielli. Uh, yes. Alderman Jacob. Yes. Alderman Messina. Thanks to Brad's salesmanship. Uh, yes. Alderman Sorrentino. Um, I'll say yes because I did see a, an agreement with the mutual respect and loyalty. Alderman Woods. Um, yes. Alderman Sosmarski. Yes. That passes. Thank um, you guys. Items, yes, thank you guys very much. Um, thank you gentlemen, keep up the good work. Uh, thank you for being here and uh, keep up the good work. Next, uh, report and recommendation, oh, I'm sorry, items to be considered at future meetings, additional IT position, winter 2021. And with that, I'm gonna make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All Second. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. That's it for the meeting. That's it for the Good night. Good night. Good night.